Hello, Brooke here. Um, today I wanted to talk about, let's see, what was I going to talk about? For some reason it just poofed out of my freaking head. So, <clears throat> oh, I know what I was going to talk about. Okay, I was going to talk about cycling. Um, and when I mean cycling, yes, I love spin, but that is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about um, mood cycling. So one of the things, oops, that is uh, a big deal for me and has been throughout my life is my moods and how they cycle. And it seems like I go through a new cycle like once a week. So at the beginning of the week, I'm generally, it just so happens it's like beginning of the week, I feel mostly good. End of the week, I feel pretty crappy. Um, so I usually, the beginning of the week, I have tons of energy. I'm very excited. I'm really, um, you know, happy. And this is not every single week, but if it does happen, um, it usually takes this course. Um, and then by the end of the week, for some reason, something gets, I get triggered by something. Um, and by triggers for me, there's something like, um, a feeling of rejection. So, uh, it could be something really simple. It could be an imagined sort of rejection. Um, and then I, you know, a bad mood kind of comes on from that. Sometimes it just happens out of nowhere where, you know, one day I go to sleep and I'm like, oh, my life is so good. And I wake up and I just don't feel good. And it's just like, why? Oh my God, this day is going to be such a drag. Um, it used to be to the extent of like, why am I alive? Um, that was back when, you know, my cycles were much worse and I hadn't really found ways to manage them. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about, uh, because whether or not you have a mental illness, I think we all go through cycles like that. Um, and I think that there are specific ways that I have learned to handle them that could be helpful. So also being aware of them and um, identifying what things make recovering from those cycles either um, easier or what reduces the cycles happening altogether. So for me, I know for sure. If I drink alcohol or in excess, not if I just drink it, but if I drink it in excess or I eat really badly, um, my cycles happen much more frequently. They are much longer and they're a lot harder for me to recover from. Um, so eating really badly, meaning for me, a lot of sugar um, and a lot of sodium seems to like make me really groggy and then drinking in excess. And those two things I know if I engage in those behaviors, my cycles are going to be worse. I also know that once I go into a cycle, not to engage in those behaviors in an attempt to come out of them. So, I mean, as you know, if you've struggled with any sort of emotional pain, you know, or you might have, I know a lot of people who have, then engaged in behaviors like excessive drinking, eating a lot of crap, um, you know, those types of things to cope with those negative feelings that they have. Um, and I've done that so many times. So one of the things I try to make sure not to do is use those things after the fact. So one thing that I've given myself permission to do is when I'm having these low moods is stay home, stay on the couch, play video games, watch TV. Um, but I always try to make sure that I drink a lot of water, that I take my supplements, that I eat healthy, and that I get outside at least once during the day. So instead of like hibernating, like, yeah, I'm doing very hibernating like activities, like playing video games all day or watching TV, but at least go for like a short walk around the block. Um, and I know that if I do those things and I give myself permission to kind of be lazy, um, I'll feel better. But as long as I'm not drinking to excess or um, eating out of control. Um, I'll also do things like knit because it's a very indoor quiet activity. I also try to make sure that I sleep properly, um, that I don't fall asleep to the TV on, which can be very hard for me sometimes. Um, but like, so for me, drink a lot of water, eat healthy, avoid excessive drinking and excessive sweets and excessive um, just eating in general, um, giving myself permission to be lazy, doing activities that I know will fulfill me like knitting and um, painting and you know planting. So I have planted a crap ton of little seeds this week because I've had some ups and downs and like in my downs I really got crazy into planting. So to make myself feel better, which is amazing because then I'm gonna have a whole bunch of beautiful plants all over my apartment. Um, so that's good. So yeah, this, this, the cycling, 
whether or not you have mental illness, it happens and it could be from nothing. And another thing that I've been trying to do is when I become aware of the cycle, um, you're just aware of it. Like that, it, that in and of itself is a huge benefit to getting out of it because you can, instead of being like, why am I feeling this way? Oh my God, what's happening? It's more like, okay, I'm just cycling now. I'm, I'm my mood is lower. My energy's lower. I don't feel as good about myself. I don't feel as good about my life, but I know that this happens to me. So I'm going to get past it. And I know that it's going to pass and I know that it never lasts forever. Um, so just being aware of it in that way can really help um, just manage the impact that it has on you after it's already onset because you cannot change the fact that it's there. Um, so you might as well change the way that you respond to it being there. And for me, that's been really helpful. You know, then I journal about it and I say like, okay, my cycle this week lasted this long. I had, you know, really high mood at the beginning of the week. Um, by Saturday, I felt kind of down. What happened between you know, the beginning of the week and Saturday, were there things that uh, I could have avoided that would make me feel better? Were there things I could have done that could make me feel better? And I usually am able to pinpoint quite easily certain things that I could have done differently that would have made the cycle that I would most likely, I, I inevitably have them, but it would have made it a lot easier to deal with and a lot shorter. And um, yeah, basically just that. So be aware of your cycles. Notice what makes them, what triggers them and what makes them worse and what makes them better. Um, really just hydrating, especially it's so freaking dry. My lips are like falling apart and I can just feel like the grogginess from not being hydrated enough. Um, yeah, so just those things in and of themselves will make your life better, but pay attention. It's all up to you. I take full responsibility for my mental health. Um, and I know that if I do certain things, I'm going to feel like shit. So I should avoid doing those things. But we're people and we're insane. So we do the same things over and over again and expect different results. So let's do this together. I'm out of my cycle now. I had a bit of a dip over the weekend, um, but I feel much better today. So happy Monday.